<laughs> hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me for this wig review. I think this piece is so cute. If you are interested in this, stay tuned. And I don't think you're going to want to miss this. Thank you guys. Hey, you know what? Life is way too short for boring hair. And when you have an opportunity to try or to experiment with alternate hair like this, why not? This is brand new for 2021. This is part of the Cafe Collection from Beltras. And this is the Intensity Wig. And let me tell you, she sure is intense. I received her complimentary from Wig Studio One. When I received her, I was like, whew, I opened the box up. I was so anxiously awaiting her because it's a new release. And um, to, to be able to get a new re release for you to review, to me, was big. And um, so I opened her up and I put her on my head and I was like, oh, she was like all over the place. She was like a room. And I had, oh my gosh, it was so funny. I had texted a picture to Marlene Fab and Glam. Uh, and, and I said, you got to take a look at this. And she cracked up laughing. Well, it didn't take long for me to kind of control this. Now, I've done nothing to it. There's no styling products. I haven't given it a cold water bath, although I want to do that because it does have some box hair. But I've done absolutely nothing to this. I just kind of plopped it on, kind of played with it with my fingers, went outside. I'm going to superimpose the outside shot so you can see the color. The color, I think, is what just totally totally blows me away. I must say this is my all-time favorite color. Now, I know there are going to be different color variations depending on maybe the style of the wig, even though it's the same manufacturer. And it can also have different color variations in the same style in the same manufacturer. I've discovered that. But this brown sugar sweet cream is definitely by far, if I buy a bell truss wig or want to try another bell truss wig, that's going to be the color I pick. I think this would be a perfect topper color for me as well in bell truss. So I love this. I thought it was beautiful. Uh, this intensity wig is full of dramatic spiked layers. And they, they're, and when I say full of, it is. When I'm going to turn around right now so you can see, the different cuts, I can lift these right up or I can comb these right down. Right up. Or I can flatten them right out. So the styling options are really awesome with this. Love this wig. So this brown sugar sweet cream, definitely an awesome, awesome color. This is heat friendly fibers. And the cap size is average. On me, this is a snug fit. I have a 22 inch circumference. This fits a little bit of snug to me. Um, not unbearable, but I can definitely feel that I would probably want to make sure that I pin this down good so that it doesn't ride up because it is a snug fit for me. Heat friendly, as I said, a, a temple to temple creative lace front and a really nice mono part with a little bit, I mean, it's a wider mono part. It's not a full, but it's a wider mono part. So you do have a little bit of slightly, slight variations on your potting options, or even if you want to just spike it up like this, you know, without even a part. And then if you wanted to wear bangs, if you were a bang girl, again, a little bit of styling product will hold this right down. But look at that. You could create some really cute bangs or fringe, or you can wear it right up off your head like me. I like it off my head. I like it split to the side. That's how I would wear it. Anyways, isn't she pretty? Look at the lace front. Really nice lace front. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I love the color. So brown sugar sweet cream is a combination of darker brown, medium brown, light brown, and a very, very generous, generous 
coating or not coating, but very, very generous application of blonde highlights. It has a lot of blonde highlights, gives it a very textured look, which I really love. I really love. This is very modern. It's a very messy look, but you can pull it all together and have a very serious look just by combing it down a little flatter. Now, you can wear a headband if you want, you know, which I think is kind of cute. Headband. Headband. <laughs> I do think it's kind of cute with a headband, huh? So, um, and you can put a barrette in it. I don't have a barrette in here, but you could definitely put a little barrette in it. You could pin it back. I mean, there's so many different styling options, but I do like the messy, loose look. I think that really makes this wig, and I just think it is such a, I think it's such a sassy, sassy look. So I'm going to link all the information below, guys, for you. This is, again, this was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One. I'll make sure I have a link so you can go see the wig. Oftentimes, they have fantastic sales on these pieces, so it wouldn't be unusual for you to catch a sale at 30% off for something like this. Very, very affordable. Anyways, another spin. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. This has an amazing temple to temple lace front, and it really gives you lots of styling options because you can have an off the face look with it. And it actually has a nice wide monofilament that gives you a really natural scalp look. And you can also have a little bit more parting options. I actually parted it in the middle, and it worked just fine. Velvet ear tabs, little tiny, tiny bit of firmities, but open wefted cap and the ear tabs, it's really very comfortable. It's very stretchy. This is a average fit. I have a 22 inch circumference and I found it to be snug and I had it wide open. So it was very snug and very secure. A bit of an extended nape really pretty. I love the style of this. I love the color. The bangs on this are about 2.5 to 3 inches. The nape runs about 1.5 and the back about 5 inches overall. The length is between 2.5 and 5 and the weight is 2.4 ounces. Absolutely amazing look. The texture, the fibers, the style. I love it.